if you could take a a little bit of a step back and just tell us what an underwriting organization looks like, you know, from the tech side, the management side, product side, just whatever would be useful in understanding where you're coming from. Yeah, so I'll I'll talk about my most recent experience and and uh, CNA, for instance. We had um, we had a, a centralized operations group that was responsible for uh, receiving the submission data in the door. Uh, maybe it came to the underwriter first, but it got flipped over to operations to get it registered in our systems. Okay. And, then, and if I could uh, break in, sure. just when you say submission data, like what's in that package? Yeah. So if you think about underwriting as a lot like a mortgage uh, application, right? So you have a lot of information that describes the company that you're looking to underwrite. And oftentimes that'll be a description of their operation. It might be a list of all the locations that they have, the number of employees, that they they employ the types of coverages and things that that uh, the the company is looking to purchase from you maybe a list of automobiles that they have and I'm thinking about this more from a commercial market a little bigger sized risk but that's kind of a, a profile right there's a lot of information mm-hmm. you need to know just like the bank needs to know a lot about you they need to know your assets your your wealth a description of you a description of the property that you're looking to underwrite all of those things things are kind of true in a similar kind of view of what insurance is about. And that information comes in and it's basically a request from a producer, a, a, a maybe what might be called a broker, somebody who's trying to place the business with you and help that customer okay. work through all of this. So they assemble all of this information and they sort of send it into the insurance company asking for a quotation on that particular risk. And once that hits our doors as an insurer, we have to do a few things. We have some legal obligations to make sure that that company that's coming in the door is legit, not foreign owned, you know, all of these okay. types of things. Those are rules that we have to follow. So um, know your know your customer type. Know of your stuff. customer, basically. Yeah. That's okay. it. And then we have to get it into our systems because the the goal is to start to move this through a process that that sits within our organization that might start out by getting it through the operational piece first. There's some data gathering and analysis the underwriter has to do preliminarily to say, hey, this one, kind of a quick thumbs up, thumbs down to see if it's going to move forward or not. And then, you know, if you decide that you're going to go after it, and again, on commercial space, you would then... uh, start to throw a lot of resources at it. You'd send it to someone to actually enter all of the information uh, about that risk into a system. That system can calculate rates. You will do some analysis about the nature of risk. Uh, What types of exposures do they have? Are they driving cars around the city or is it out in the country? Are they doing hazardous uh, type of work or are they office workers who are are less exposed? So you start to, to get at what is the nature of the risk that you're insuring and those carry different rates different uh different considerations that you the underwriter needs to go through now if you think about every type of industry in the country there's a huge diversity of that type of question set that you're applying to every risk and you really you know that's where the rub is for the underwriter they're having to know uh, kind of looking at that risk, all of the possible things that can go wrong, right? Yeah. Uh, and and that's a difficult thing, right? There's a lot of information they have to keep in their head, and that's the role of technology in this, right? How do you use use okay. the technology to present to the underwriter a set of information that allows them to accelerate what I call decision velocity? You want them okay. to be able to make good decisions fast about what they're seeing. Now, for smaller risks, you do that through straight what we would call straight through automation, right? So you build up enough rules in a system or you use enough models to simulate what that might look like and you push that through without a human touching it. As the risks grow, the ability to build those models to uh, to confidence starts to strain, right? You can't necessarily count on underwriting Ford Motor Company through a a model so easily. Okay. 